Concern, I have written a poem. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm literally always hungry. Thank you. How to meal prep? You will need some containers. This is how we've lost 15 stone in weight. Meal prepping like this every single week. Job done. I am about to attempt the world's longest sheesh. So these are the fruit jars that me and Charlotte did on the 1st of what, June? Yeah. On the 1st of June and she had it the week and then she's been on holiday for a week obviously. But, right. eh? ten days. Yeah, 10 days. Yeah, 10 days. See, these, all of these, how many weeks? It's only the 1st anyway, so that's the 19th today, so they've been there 18 days. Two weeks, three days. So two weeks, three days, that fruit has been in that jar. And normally, I wouldn't eat this after two weeks, three days. But just to give people an idea of how fresh that fruit still is. After two weeks and three days. It won't get eaten, it's getting put in the bin. But you'd expect, after two weeks and three days, that fruit to be walking out of that jar. And it's fine. And that is how good glass jars really are. And people ask me all the time how long they last. Don't eat past 8 o'clock, right? You have to stop calorie counting. I'm talking to the people that will go out to eat but won't order dessert because they don't have any calories left for the day. Stop. You've already ate half of the menu items. What's an extra 200 calories going to do? Delete that app off your phone and come... Hey you! I hope you're doing okay. You deserve good things in life. You truly do. I got you. Always! How to make meatball meal prep. Slice 1 kilo of cherry tomatoes, add olive oil, garlic granules, onion salt, salt and pepper. Place in the oven at 180 degrees for 25 minutes. Blend with fresh basil and a teaspoon of sugar. Add 500 grams of mince to a bowl, season well. Add fresh parsley, spring onion, an egg yolk and 50 grams of breadcrumbs. Mix and roll into balls. Fry the meatballs for 6 to 8 minutes to add some colour and flavour. And add your tomato sauce and simmer for a further 15 minutes. Cook some spaghetti according to packet instructions. Top with sauce, meatballs, fresh basil, parmesan cheese. Meatball meal prep. Job done.
Alright, today's episode is all about kimchi, a beautiful little delicacy that's as old as time itself. This dish originated in Korea, so if there's any Korean listeners out there, thank your ancestors for me. Kimchi is more traditionally made of a Chinese lettuce, but today we're putting a little spin on it and using cucumber instead. To start off, you're going to want to add some salt to some sliced cucumbers and leave it for about 20 minutes so some moisture comes out of them. Now this is where the fun starts. I did some carrots, some spring onions, some soy sauce, a little Asian chili flakes, but I mean, let your imagination go wild. That being said though, my flavours were quite traditional, so if you want to know the exact measurements, head over to my Instagram and everything's there. After the taste test is done and dusted, these bad boys can sit in your fridge for up to about two weeks. They'll get funkier and funkier as they do. Enjoy. There's nothing better than a refreshing pitaya bowl to start the morning. You're going to need one cup of frozen dragon fruit, one frozen banana, one frozen mango, a fourth a cup of coconut sorbet, and a fourth a cup of milk. And blend it all together until it becomes a smooth consistency. Top it off with some bananas, strawberries, dry coconut, and granola. Enjoy. Don't ask me how, but I've acquired some Ben & Jerry's cookie dough pieces. These ones are vegan. We're going to see if we can actually make them into a real cookie. People think we eat the same thing every day, however this is the reality. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sundays we cook fresh. This is the reality of our meal prep. How to make honey soy garlic chicken. For the marinade you will need olive oil, honey, ginger, garlic, soy sauce, salt and pepper. Coat six chicken thighs evenly and add to the oven at 180 degrees for 45 minutes. Serve with rice and green beans, top with sesame seeds, job done. Are you having a bad day or are you hungry? Are you having a bad day or are you hungry? Don't eat past 8 o'clock, right? Okay, now look, hear me out. Why is there a light bulb in the fridge if we're not supposed to eat past 8 o'clock? Oh. Nope, that's not chicken, that's artichokes. Let's get into this. Now stop, I know exactly what you're thinking. Naughty, have you gone mad? <laughs> nah, I haven't, and you gotta stay with me on this one because you're not gonna be disappointed. Started off by steaming and squashing a few artichokes and glazing it in a beautiful grilled pineapple jerk marinade. That I'm gonna teach you how to make in the next episode. Once that was done, I chucked those beauties in the oven for about 15 minutes, gave them a little re-up on the glaze, put them back in the oven for another 15, and they came out looking golden. Now to get this bad boy plated up, I hit the bowl with a little rice and peas, that beautiful jerk marinated artichoke, couple bits of plantain, and of course a simple avocado salad. <laughs> Can't lie, the combination of these flavours were mad, and I actually kind of shocked myself. If you want to know the full recipe, everything's on my Instagram, but for now, enjoy. 
birthday cake protein bars at a fraction of the price. For the full recipe, check out my Instagram, the link's in the bio. You will need peanut butter, oats, honey, sprinkles and vanilla essence. Milk, whey protein and white chocolate. Spin a pan like an idiot and combine the milk, peanut butter, honey and add a pinch of salt. Next, combine the whey protein, mix together and then add those big boy oats. Mix the ingredients well, then line a baking tray with parchment paper, empty the contents out and then smash it with a rolling pin. Beat it down to about half an inch and then add it to the freezer for an hour. Melt some white chocolate and take out your protein bars and cover it in that white chocolate. Spread out the white chocolate nice and even and top with your favourite sprinkles and then all you've got to do is chop it into 10 and try not to eat the lot. Check out my Instagram. This make a vegan burrito. Thank <laughs> you.